Hey guys, welcome back. So it's Dan here with the Regular Guy Garage. Uh, it's been quite a while since I posted, probably eight or nine months to be honest. And uh, so we'll go ahead and answer the questions that are gonna be asked up front, right? So the S10 is gone. Um, you know, we, so I started uh, kind of figuring out the no prep thing, got the truck built to be, you know, um, you know, pretty effective on the backside, no prep type surface. And uh, just kind of hit this weird point in my life where I actually had to get rid of it. Unfortunately, I did not want to get rid of it, but you know what, I mean, I do this for a hobby. Um, if I did this for a living, it'd be, you know, much easier just to hold on to these things and make that the priority. But anyway, the S10 has gone, um, you know, had to kind of get out of the car thing for a little bit. Um, you know, life gets pretty busy and then, uh, you know, it's nice to have a hobby when you can have it, but at the same time, you know, like other things take priority. So anyway, we're back here now, um, back in the Fox body game. So, uh, let's go over this car. Um, wasn't in the market for one, but just kind of came across it. Well, I shouldn't say that I'm always in the market for one, but, um, wasn't really looking to buy right now, but kind of came across this and, uh, I mean, I just couldn't turn it down. So. So this is a 1984 Mustang Coupe with an 8586 front nose on it. Um, six cylinder car. It has a, a, I believe it's an AOD. The guy I bought it from said it was a C4, but I'm pretty sure these came with AOD transmission. Doesn't matter, it's all coming out. But a very clean car. I mean, pretty much just some superficial, you know, rust on the, it's not even really rust. They just, they basically were doing body work on it and then pushed it out in the rain and it kind of just, you know, Put some little bit of surface rust on it so um that'll get addressed when we end up painting it so as far as the power plant this is a v6 car so in 84 they had either four cylinder eight cylinder or the v6 uh this car had the v6 and of course it's going to get yanked out um the car's original color was this kind of darkish blue right here uh, more than likely that's just going to be what i end up repainting the car so the interior on this car is very clean uh, for its age. I mean, you know, it's 84, so this is a 40 year old interior. This dash is, this is like a, a pad underneath. It's cracked a little bit, but what I want to try and do is uh, keep the interior, you know, as stock as possible, as full as possible. I'm going to do some Kirky racing seats at some point. Uh, we'll kind of keep these for now, but um, you know, basic things in here really. Uh, I'm going to do the um, motion raceworks steering column or some sort of lightweight steering column, more than likely motion raceworks because I like the, uh, you know, their craftsmanship. They have really good quality and uh, probably going to go with their shifter too, depending on what transmission I go with. But I want to keep everything the same, you know, carpet, all the interior. Uh, I'm going to throw a radio in it. It'll really be, you know, as streetable as we can with it. Moving over to, the, over to the rear, it's a they did a five lug conversion on the rear also, but it's still a seven and a half inch rear, so we're gonna put an eight eight, um, may even do a nine inch in the rear. Uh, been researching a little bit, the price difference isn't really too much between eight eight and nine inch. Uh, the nine inches I've been finding have been a little cheaper actually. So, but yeah, I mean it's a coupe car, um, really good shape. All this they they, they did the bodywork and then just left the car out in the rain basically so this is all just pretty much surface when i get it painted you know i'm sure this won't really be that much of a deal big deal at all but again i mean the interior you know shot at the passenger side very clean interior um you know really clean car honestly and, and, and i mean it's 40 years old so you know it's not perfect by any means but uh i mean it's in really good shape uh it does have like a cowl hood of some sort oh, that's four inches or five inches or whatever uh i'm not a huge fan of this i'm probably going to sell this hood it's actually not a bad hood but um i like the lift off hood so plus it's actually fairly heavy for a fiberglass hood so i mean it needs really just minor stuff there's a very little bit of rust up over here where the battery tray was it looks like the battery kind of leaked out and just kind of got all over the uh, frame rail and just a um, little bit of rust, not actually too bad. I, I hit some of it underneath with a needle gun and then like this is pretty superficial. Um, 
but everything else is rock solid on this car. This, this is the only spot right here. Um, but so all this stuff's coming out and, you know, undecided really what we're going to do, but right now I'm just tearing everything down. So here's pretty much the only rust that was on the car. Um, there was this little spot here, which, and then this spot here, which I pretty much needle gunned it real quick. And I mean, it came off almost immediately, but this is all still really solid. Again, this is, um, pretty much where the battery is right on the other side, but, uh, not really terrible. The radiator support needs some love to be quite honest. I'm just going to cut it off and put one of the tubular ones there. So I'm not even worried about that at all. Um, but this was pretty much it right here. So I'll probably do, uh, you know, but what uh, my buddy Sean does over at Funky Stangs is uh, I'll just throw some pour 15 over it now that I got all the, you know, rust off and uh, we'll call that good. I'll spray over it and that'll be, uh, that'll be it. So yeah, we went out and checked the car out. Um, me and John drove up there and uh, I mean, it was like super clean and straight. We looked at it in the dark. Uh, the guy said it had one small rust spot, which, you know, he showed you. Um, it had a little bit more than what he led on to, but it's not much at all. It's honestly a part that it's eventually, that forward part of the frame is eventually gonna get cut off and probably tubed at some point. Um, but even if not, I mean, it's not, it's nothing that is going to severely damage or keep this car from, you know, racing or driving or anything like that. So, you know, we kind of caught a great deal. Like you can't find, you know, coops that cheap really um and it wasn't a roller it ran in drive you know when when i brought it home i just you know i don't want a v6 mustang so we're we're doing uh we're doing what we're doing with it we get a very clean car very straight um basically starting from square one fresh slate but we're going to be doing uh, the goal with this car is i'm going to turn i want this to be a full-on street drivable car uh, full interior, you know, I would like to keep the AC, definitely going to keep the heat, but I would like to keep the AC as well. But I want something that I could drive all the time. So, but again, also race. So I really enjoy the no prep stuff more than actual radio racing. So I'm going to set it up mainly for no prep. There's so much stuff out there, especially for the Fox body with no prep. Um, it's going to be long travel shocks in the front. Um, you know, the, your basic no prep fox body package you know that you know i get it pretty much everybody's doing it but you know this is just something i enjoy so as far as power plant um really everything's on the table i'm i'm undecided um i'll be honest i'm leaning more towards some sort of 5.3 based ls not just the typical like you know junkyard 5.3 i want to put something in there that's going to make a lot of power um, I have a lot of experience tuning those and stuff too. They're much more user friendly with tuning. So that's probably why I'm going to stick to an LS based and then power glide transmission. Now that's not set in stone. I know a lot of guys that follow my channel are diehard Ford guys. Um, but that's just where I'm leaning right now. This is, this project is going to honestly take a very, very, very long time. And that's really just based on kind of where I'm at in my life, you know, uh, you know, job keeps me busy um you know where i have these long gaps and you know more gaps coming up in the future you know the world's kind of crazy and stuff so plus this stuff costs a lot of money as well you know this is going to be one that it's going to take us a little while but i mean it's going to be fun uh, i'm honestly excited to be back and wrenching and you know working on stuff so but yeah i mean that's where we're at so uh i mean as always thanks for watching guys take care and we'll see you on the next one